Hi, I'm Ed. Today we are going to paint a sunset. It's really easy, just follow me. Let's get started. Right, sunset, easy peasy. This sunset could be anywhere. This is actually quite a famous painting. It's Westminster uh, Abbey. So obviously looking west. Um, we're going to break it up into a few sections. Um, we're going to paint it in real time. There's going to be no sort of speeded up bits or slowed down bits. You can take as long as you like. I'm going to try and paint it as quick as I can. We're using acrylic paint. Anything water-based is fine. Um, we just need a couple of blues, purple, um, red, yellow and white, that's it. You just go kind of primary colours. Um, you can make your own purple with red and blue, so you really only need four colours. Let's get started. We just need to find the middle of the canvas. You don't have to use a canvas. You can use a piece of painted board or it's, it, we're, we're doing this thing um, with sort of minimal costs. Let's find the middle. We need a little bit of white paint, a little bit of blue paint, a little bit of purple, but it's predominantly white. The middle is here, so just do a little dot, just a little dot to start with. So we all know where we are. That's the middle, that's the middle. Top half, blue and white, little bits of purple, and it doesn't really matter how this goes on. We need to put a little bit of water on um, to let it flow like a wash. You can go as random as you like. We're going to build it up in layers after layer after layer. So I've got a bit of, dark, bit of dark blue there. White. More white. Water. If you put too much water on, all dribbles down there, it's fine. You don't want it to happen, but just if it does happen, don't panic about it. You can just wipe off like that. As long as you're going in that direction, um, the brush strokes are all in, the, all in this direction for a, for a sunset. So that's what happens if you get a drip, don't panic. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna have some more Blues up here and some more white. I'm going to try and do it in, what do you reckon, 10 minutes? We want to see a bit of the canvas shining through. Um, we've got to try and get <clears throat> as much light coming through as possible because it's a sunset and we're painting the sky. It's not a solid thing. So if the white canvas is shining through, that's great. Save money, I always say this, but save money on buying canvas, uh, buying frames by painting around the outside. You can do this and paint around the top, which means that when the painting's dry, which will take about 10 minutes, you can just hang it straight on the wall. So we've got some light blue, some dark blue, some lighter bits and darker bits. It's all sort of quite mottled, which is great. You can keep doing this, having a lovely time for as long as you like. I haven't got ages. I haven't got all day. So I'm going to move on. Once we've got, to, this is sort of halfway point, scratching it in. Or if you want to, you can be really detailed. And you can paint it like this if you like. Spend all day. But I'm just going to scratch it in like that. As long as we've got the canvas covered, we're all good. And then let's not forget to paint this side as well. Up there. One thing we don't want, we don't really want to see our brush strokes, so we don't want that. That's what we don't want, because it's sunset. They need to be all mottled in, so if you can see them, just put some white on top. And if you can't, if you can still see them, which you can, just use your fingers. Doesn't matter if you get dirty, it's fine. As soon as you get to a point where you can't see any brush strokes, we can move on. We need to find out now a quarter of the way up. So we're going to get a clean brush and we're going to go in with some yellow. Make sure you've got some yellow and some red and some white on your palette. Um, we're going to go clean brush. 
Big brush or little brush doesn't matter, as long as it's clean. The brightest part of this painting is the sun. Uh, that's where all the light comes from, so that's got to be the whitest bit. So that's why that's the whitest bit. If you go with any brush, um, let's go, oh, hold on, let's go yellow. Yellow and white, we need to find the horizon. So yellow and white, the horizon is a quarter of the way up on this painting. If you want to make it a third of the way up, that's fine, but on, we're trying to recreate this. Um, it's a quarter of the way up. So there's a half, that's your halfway, halfway line. That's half of that, so that's a quarter. And we just need a line that goes across there. There we go. Easy. Don't forget to paint around the sides. So that's that. Then we go straight in with white. And we need to find this sun. The sun sits just above the horizon most of the time. Unless it's night. So we go... We want the paint on really, really thick. But it's got to go horizontal. A sunset like this, not going to work. So it's white and a little bit of um, a little bit of yellow, but predominantly straight white on top of there. It's almost the most important bit. We'll get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. So that's done. So it's a bit like Turner. He really plastered the paint on when he's trying to get that sun. If the paint's, if you put it on so thick it's dribbling, you don't want it dribbling massively down, but guess what? If it does, that would end up being a reflection of the sun. It's still fine. So next off, <clears throat> we need a little bit of water. Mix it in with the yellow. Get a little bit of red. So we're getting like a nice sort of orangey colour. Um, and we're just basically filling in the whole of this bottom bit with a nice orange. So we're basically filling in the whole of this half here in a lovely orange. I'm going to run out of red. Don't forget to um, paint on the bottom of it, underneath here. Take it off your easel if you need to. Um, there we go. The trick is, keep it horizontal. If you've got wavy lines like this, it's going to look like, you know, somebody who doesn't know what they're doing's done it. Here we go, loads on, loads on. Keep it really horizontal. If you want to use a bit of water, that's cool. Uh, and like I said, if it drips down, that's fine, because go you're going to have reflections anyway. Um, Bit like that. We're not too bothered about sort of light and dark at the moment. We're just filling in the whole canvas. All right. There we go. Let's pretend I've painted underneath the bottom. That's fine. Have I painted around that edge? No. That's all right. There we go, okay, we're good. So now, what we need to do is we almost need to do exactly the same again, but we need to remember where our uh, horizon is and we need to remember where the sun is. So we're just gonna go again with yellow and red, bit of water, and remembering the sun, doesn't matter if it drops down, that's cool, but remember the sun's there. All right, water is good. We don't want to see where this blue, we don't want to see a, a, a sort of obvious change. It's got to, it's got to um, sort of just blend in. It's got to sort of tonally blend in. The one problem that you could get is that it goes uh, greeny. As soon as it goes greeny, it means you've got blue and yellow on your brush. So just stop, let it dry, get clean your brush and just go straight on top with yellow and it'll be fine. So going in over here now, like that, leaving the sun. 
And then if you want to go a bit deeper, you can just blend these edges in. Bit a bit tricky, but you can take your time. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going as fast as I can. But you can blend these bits in like this. And the white helps. There we go. And it's looking like quite a nice sort of sunset. It's, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. There's some pinky colours up here. So pinky is just red and white. So you can mix it up. So that's the sort of, it's literally just red and white. Use some water. So we want to kind of get some pinky colours in up here. So I've put that on a bit thick. So you can just blend it in with your fingers if you like. That's one way of getting around it. Or you can put it on uh, with some water. Drips, don't worry about them. So we've got some pinky tones up here. Yeah. There we go. That's what I like. That's it. So we've got pinky tones coming in up here. There we go. I'm doing speed painting. You've got all day. You've got all day. You want to see some clouds coming in? The sun's got coming up, lighting the clouds from the bottom, so you'll have bits of pinky coming in here. Again, if it starts to go green or brown or muddy, just stop and uh, clean your brush. And it's because you've just got too many colours on your brush. So we're going to... Your clouds can kind of go anywhere. I learnt a word the other day. So those, these little bits of cloud that break off um, and they're sort of on their own and they're lit. They're called scud. It's word of the day. There we go. So you don't want to see the... You don't really want to see the brush strokes. You're just trying to get... You can put loads of different... You can do this loads and loads of different times on top, but it's really quite thin. Let it dry. Go again. And they, you build it. It's called a sort of... It's called a glaze. If you use oil, it's called a glaze. We're using watercolour paint, or we're using acrylic paint. Watercolour paint's still fine. There we go. Right, that's that. So now we need to go a little bit stronger in colour. So we're going to use some red, straight red and yellow. So we're after this kind of deep, sort of red kind of colour here. So let's uh, remember where the horizon is again. And uh, we can just go in there. And we remember where the sun is. We don't really want to go... Well, maybe I've gone too far there. Oh, look, we rescued it. Make sure the sun is still there. There we go. But they've got to be horizontal lines. They've really got to be horizontal. See that? Well, I've gone a bit loopy there. I'm going to straight that, straighten all that out. Right. Take your time. Don't rush. There we go. Yeah. Especially around here, this is important. Right, and then um, obviously we're going to have some reflections coming down. That looks all right. I'm quite happy with that. I'm not happy with this because it's not straight. So that's got to be straight. It's got to be straight there. And there's our horizon there. So um, the reflections, it's just going to be exactly the same in mirror image, and that's your mirror. So whatever colour that is, let's get a bit in there. We can go in from the outside. We need to paint in from the outside of the canvas. We need to put that red on up there like that. Paint all the way to the edges. So this is a, a landscape, obviously, or a seascape. Um, loads of people forget to do the edges and they concentrate on stuff in the middle. But really we want to make sure we go all the way around the outside. So here it is, a little bit darker over here. And then we're pretty much, pretty much there. If you think you've got it and you've done it kind of, and if you're happy with it, even if you're happy with it early on, don't overwork it because like, why would you? If you're happy with it, you're happy with it. Got some layers there like that, okay. Right, so, we don't even need to let it dry. We need to uh, sort of get these buildings in. We're just going to go straight in, 
don't even have to clean the brush. We've got to just use a bit of purple. Now these buildings, obviously you've got Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, whatnot. Doesn't have to be that. We're going to paint this for this. But if you, if you want to put your own sort of take on the skyline, then go for it. Just have a look on the internet. Find your, find your sort of um, silhouette skyline and just bang that straight on top. Um, and you do not have to be very accurate. Um, you use a little bit of blue mixed, uh, sorry, purple mixed in with the red to get this nice sort of brownie stuff. Let's just go right to left. The important thing is still the horizon. So use the brush pointing downwards to get this horizon. It's hard to get a straight line like that. We want a straight line like this. So here it is. There's your horizon there and it's really straight. So, okay, there's some buildings. They're literally done. Um, and the ones that are far away are lighter, so there's more, uh, there's more water on the ones in the distance. So we could just do this. Don't overwork it. Just let the paint do the work or the brush do the work. I'm really not concentrating too much on what it is because it's far away, you can't see it anyway. We do need a straight line, so kind of, I'm going to concentrate a little bit on that. And then as things get, more cl uh, get closer to you, the darker they get. So we just gradually we, we do the next level towards you. So we just add a little bit more purple. We'll put some of those buildings in there. Not sure what that is. OK, and then we'll go uh, Westminster Abbey. Did it. Too light, because that's basically lighter than that. So this needs to, we just need some more, more purple on here. So we can go like this. Or well, blue will work. OK, then I'm just keeping going across. It's quite random. Don't need to overwork it. So that's stuff in the background. Just say it was early in the morning, it was all a bit blurry. That's fine. That's uh, Big Ben there. And of course we need, so there's, on the shoreline there'll be some more stuff, there'll be like, uh, you know, walkways and stuff, so that's even closer to you. So that goes an even darker purple. Don't do a straight line like that, you just need to break it up a little bit. And then again, this straight line, you can have a reflection, so go in from the bottom this time. And dry, that's, why it's, that's why you don't need to let it all dry, because you can just use these colours and just drag them down like that. Normally, the first time you've done it, normally the first time you do it is the, is the best it's going to be. So if you start overworking it and overworking it, it'll just go brown. So I'm going fast as I keep going on about. You take your time and just try and do it right first time. So you've got to sort of commit to it. Have a little few practice strokes, not on the, not on the canvas, and then just go, boof, right, I've done it. Amazing. That's it. You can keep building up these layers, but essentially we're there. We just need to sort out the uh, foreground, which is even closer to you. So whatever these things are, whether it's a gate post or a person or a little man fishing, uh, that's it. And a little bit of purple on the front for kind of added, added depth. Straight lines again, straight lines again. When you're happy, just sign it. Rough. We're done. We've done it. One sunset. Was it 10 minutes? Don't know. Well done, everybody. We painted a sunset. I did it as quick as I could. Um, I don't know how long it took you, but um, hoping that you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next one.